Hi, this is Chris from Noctography.co.uk. Today I'll be teaching you how to make orbs. There are two main elements to orb making. One is the orb tool itself, and the other is the technique you use to create your orb. We'll start off by making the orb tool. Now you can't just use any old lights because most won't work. Okay, so you can't use a torch because a torch produces a beam of light and what you need is something that you can see the light source from no matter which way you look at it. Obviously a torch you can only see when looking directly at the head. So something with a direct bulb. Now you might think of using something like glow sticks which would be great, but they're not bright enough. Okay, so the secret is, is to use battery operated Christmas lights. Now the reason these work so well is because we can see the bulb no matter which way we look at it. You can have them as bright or as dull as you like by taping them together. Now if you're good at with electrics, you can do some splicing and rewiring. But if you're like me, just tape them together by wrapping some tape around the end. Now if it's too bright, take a few out and put some electrical tape over the live ones that you don't want and re-tape them together. Christmas lights usually come in a circle, but I managed to find these in a straight line with the battery pack at one end and the lights at the other. So all I had to do was tape them together and it was easy as that. If you can find one in a straight line, it'd make it much easier than if they were in a circle. Now, it's important that your battery pack and your on-off switch is at one end and your lights are at the other. This is so we can start swinging the lights before we turn it on and turn the lights off before we stop swinging the lights. Okay, so that's your orb tool sorted. I'll see you outside later on when it gets dark to show you how to do the technique. Right, so it's night time now so we can get started. The equipment you will need is your DSLR, your tripod, your shutter release, the orb tool we made earlier, and obviously a flash gun or a torch for any other additional lighting you may want to do. Okay, so we set up our shot like we normally would, find a nice composition, focus, the settings will be something like ISO 100 to 500 depending on your camera, about aperture 5-6, on bulb for at least a minute. Okay, so you need to decide where you want your orb. Once you've decided, we need a marker. Now I've chosen my wallet, you can use anything you like, as long as it's a point that you know where your orb is going. Okay, so we've decided where we want our orb. Just place your marker on the floor. Now the first thing you need to do is spin your light in a circle. Now, make sure it's not too close to the floor and that uh, it's not going to hit anything when spinning it in a 360 degree circle. Okay, so the easiest way to explain this is while spinning your light in a circle, you yourself also need to turn in a circle. Now an easy mistake to make is to pivot around your head, as shown in this diagram here. and we'll produce images like this. Now the correct way to do this is to pivot around your hand so it creates a perfect circle as shown in this diagram here. And we'll produce a perfect orb. Okay, so now we know what we're doing with the orb, we can get started in a minute. I'll just explain how the marker works and we can get going. So the marker sits on the floor, like so. It, you need to keep an eye on it, and your light spins over it like so. And with every step you take, as long as your light is still over the marker, the orb should come out perfectly formed. Another common mistake when making orbs is for your body to turn, but your hand does not. This might end up with some nasty accidents, you're hitting yourself in the face with your lights. It's all about practice, if you can find that hand motion that turns your hand at the same time as your body, you'll be fine. One thing to try and remember is, think how many spins per rotation you're doing. If you have 8 spins per rotation, your orb will be quite broken and look quite empty. Whereas if you have too many spins per orb, the orb could come out overexposed or just look like a giant ball. So with practice, you'll find that balance which works best for you and your orbs. Okay, so we're ready to go. You set your camera off on your log exposure, 
like I said earlier, you start spinning your wire before you turn your lights on. Once the lights are going, you start your rotations, making sure that your light is still over your marker. And then turn your lights off before you stop swinging. And once you've done a 360 rotation, wait for the sky to burn in, do any additional lighting you need to do, come back and turn your exposure off and see what sort of image you've got. Okay, so there we go, that's how you make orbs. A bit of pre-preparation, a bit of work during the exposure, and great images at the end. Have lots of fun. See you.